I don't know about you, but I've always liked the feature on like TikTok when you're recording, you can hold down a button to record. When you let go of it, it kind of pauses the recording. And then when you hold it down again, it starts recording again. And then you have one video with having to edit it all together. I wanted to do that in OBS. And so I figured out how. Today, I'm going to show you how to create TikToks or shorts or reels or whatever using OBS, capturing your screen and your camera. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so now I have pretty much a, a blank OBS in front of me. There's a lot of profile stuff set up, but I'm gonna create a whole new profile and walk you through how I did this kind of step by step. All right, first thing we're gonna do is I wanna go to profile. And for me, if you have a blank OBS, this is a problem, but if you have, say you're streaming or recording OBS, you're gonna wanna create a new profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit new and I'm gonna type title this one shorts. I'll let it do the auto configuration. I'm not optimizing for recording. I'm not gonna be streaming. Uh, that is fine for now. I'm going to apply those settings. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go here into settings, go to video, and I'm going to change this um, because I, I want it to be vertical format to 1080 by 1920. Same here by 1920. 60 frames per second, I think is fine with me. Click apply, click OK. All right, now I have this in a vertical format. So the first scene I want to have is I want this just to be my full screen, and then I want to have a uh, screen here. So full screen for me is gonna be pretty simple. All I really need in here is my video capture device, which of course is gonna be my camera. It is a Panasonic G7. And yeah, they're capturing my Elgato HD 60S, of course. Um, perfect. I'm gonna size me up. Look at me, sizing me up like that. All right, as you can tell, that doesn't look nearly as good as the camera you see over here in your bottom left. That's because I have a lot of filters. And so I'm gonna go to filter, add a color correction, move that over where I can kind of see it. I'm gonna bump saturation, there we go. Maybe bump contrast just a little bit as well. Okay, hit plus, I'm gonna hit chroma key just like this. And okay, get a little fuzziness. So we're going to bump our similarity, there we go. Something like that I think looks pretty good. Uh, from here, I would just put an image behind me. I'm just going to click image and grab something. I can just grab a random image that I've created and kind of use kind of like the look and feel of. I'm going to put it behind me. So now I just kind of have something behind me so that now as I'm talking, I can also see a little bit of, you know, a little spill right there. So let me go back into my filters, adjust my chroma key settings just a little bit. Okay that maybe we bump our saturation a little bit more which should help get some of that green out okay so like that looks pretty good to me that was kind of the simple part let's go ahead and jump into our screen share part and so the way that i like to do this is i'm going to go ahead and capture just my display is what i like to capture i'm a display capture kind of guy i want it to be this screen right here um and i'm just going to size it all the way up like that and then i want it just to be my left side the reason i found left side is now because i can size it like this pretty easily there we go and now i'm capturing just my screen right i guess for this example it would probably be better if i were not showing my screen so anyway that part it doesn't matter then i'm going to add a video capture device i'm going to grab my g7 and there i am just like that now for this i want myself down here kind of at the corner. And I'll be honest, for a reel or TikTok or, or whatever else, I don't even know that having you on the screen is necessary. But if you want it, here it is. That was really not even the big part of the tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into how to make it record and pause, record and pause really easily. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is go into settings. Oh, I guess one thing I should do because I did this, I forgot to do this when I did this originally. One, mute this. You don't actually want your camera microphone. Make sure that you add in audio. So audio input capture click OK. I am using uh, the Elgato Wavelink, which if you have any Elgato microphone, I highly, highly recommend using Hel Elgato Wavelink. There we go. Wavelink stream. And so now it's capturing uh, just what I want it to. This is kind of what it looks like. And so here's my microphone. Uh, here would be my browser and everything else. And so I can kind of control it from there. Right. But I want to make sure I go and add that uh, into this one as well. Again, make sure G7 is turned off. Make sure we're audio input capture. We we'll use our existing, our wavelength. Now we have audio. Okay, perfect. Now that part's done, let's go to settings. And we're going to go into hotkeys and all of our magic is going to happen right here. So here's what you want to figure out. What buttons can you press while doing your video, whatever video you're wanting to make, whether it's a gaming, a tutorial, a reaction, like what buttons can you press? So for me, I have a mouse that has buttons on the side that I don't use during my tutorials. So I'm going to key it to that. It could be your keypad. It could be your stream deck. It could be your middle mouse button, whatever. You really only need one button. I'm going to do two because 
because you know I'm fancy like but really you only need one so the one I'm going to keep on is I'm going to do a start recording and I again I'm doing this on my mouse because my mouse I don't need those buttons while doing tutorials and stuff and so I'm going to hit that button which is for me it's just going to be my first mouse button and then I want a button for pause recording which is going to be my second mouse button and I want to put that same button for the unpause recording and so what's going to happen now the way that you only need one button is because all you really need to be able to do is pause and unpause that's all you have to do I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit okay so now I'm going to press my button to start recording you should see let me move this over here you should see it start recording. All right, now that I'm recording, I would do the part that I want to do. And usually I would be like, you're going to go right here to this website, pause. Okay, see how that just lit up? That paused the recording. And then I would say, now once you're there, you're going to want to go to this place and you're going to type in this, do, 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 right? Pause, go to the next thing, unpause, record your stuff, pause, right? You can kind of see all this happening. Then if I hit, you know, stop recording, it's going to save the video and I can go over here to, you know, show recordings. And right here is the recording, uh, the video that I just recorded. Of course, it's in KV, I need to remux it, but there we go. Now that I'm recording, I would do the part that I want to do. And usually I would be like, you're going to go right here to this web. Now once you're there, you're going to want to go to this place and you're going to type in this. Do, 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 do. Unpause, record your stuff. Very quick. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, this is how I've been doing some of my shorts recently, and it's been working uh, incredibly well. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're putting out videos just like this nearly every week. Anyway, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one.